Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. Hey, here we go. Night number two of our coverage of the 2019 Derby City Classic. One pocket. All right, so tonight we have a nice little lineup uh, scheduled for you guys, starting with Francisco Bustamante versus Richie Richeson. This is from round two of the Derby City Classic One Pocket Division. Each player has zero losses. This match brought to you by Diamond Billiard Products, BilliardShoppingNetwork.com, and us, Railbirds Productions. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you don't ring that bell, you won't get notified when we upload new videos or when we go live. Be sure to share. Sharing's caring. Thank you, guys. If you like what we do, go check out Patreon, patreon.com slash TV. Make a small monthly contribution to us. It'll keep our coffee cups full. And the live stream's coming. You know, live streamers, we run on coffee. And if you're at the $5 a month level or more, we'll send you a free autographed Sky Woodward photo. Sky Woodward 2018 Moscone Cup MVP. All right, here we go. We got Francisco at the table. Oh, did you get a rail? Oh, I think that five got the rail. So. I'm not much of a one pocket player myself, so I'm sure you guys out there know way more about this game than I do. So if I say something dumb, try to uh, try to try to forgive me. Try try to go easy on me. Just I think he has sold out that ten. Yeah, he has sold out that ten. That is unfortunate and Francisco, he's going to be able to run some balls here. Oh, and that's going to be my cue to start updating the scoreboard here. All right, Francisco, plus one. And also I'm going to swap these names around so that the names match the pocket they are shooting at. So Francisco shooting at the pocket on the right. So I'll put his name over there. Sitting pretty good on this bank. What's he going to do next after the bank? Can he continue his run? He's just going to have to bank that two out of there. Don't know if that's Tony on the next table. We do have some 
matches with Tony. I don't remember if he was on the next one when we recorded this or not. What happened? I I got the ball count wrong already. I count 13 on the table plus 3 on the score is 16, and we can't add up to 16. I have to add up to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, my, my math is wrong somehow. So I'll just take one off of Francisco's. Don't see any coins up on the table. I don't know. I got the score wrong somehow. Okay, yeah, no real foul. Okay, thank you. going to bring Richie to the table. Could take a swing at this too, but I'm not liking that one. I mean, knocking balls towards Francisco's side, and it's going to be kind of hard to continue a run. Well, he's going to swing at this too. All right. Seemed like banking the five out of there might have been more prudent. All right, so he did knock one in Francisco's pocket. Oh, it was going. Yeah, I agreed. I thought that shot on the two was pretty risky. He got fortunate he pocketed that four. Otherwise, uh, yeah, Francisco might have been able to probably run out the rack.
All right, good hit. You got a rail. Hey, face man, welcome. By the silly rules, do you mean uh, are you switch pockets after every inning? <laughs> Is that the silly rules you're talking about? Oh, I think he was trying to clip that eight on the way by. Maybe not. Maybe just trying to. Maybe just trying to do what he did. Clipping the eight would have been nice. All right, just going to take an intentional foul and put Francisco in jail. Francisco following suit. So, yeah, I dare you. Take a swing at that, uh, whatever that stripe is over there by your pocket. I dare you. I think that's the 14. Now, did he, did Francisco protect his pocket? Did he get him hooked with the two ball? Or can he see those? Two balls in front of Francisco's pocket. All right, I'm, I'm going to assume that was a good hit. On the wire, Creative Media. Welcome. That's our good buddy, Rahanna. When you're not watching our stream, go check out his stuff. He's got some pretty cool stuff. All right, that looked like another no hit. Unless I missed something. All right, nice shot by Richie. Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little risky, but it's going to pay off because he's going to be able to run some balls from here. Hey, Ra, I'm, I'm starting to get used to it. They used to bother me. Now I just, uh, now I just kick them off the channel. They can go spread that poison somewhere else. That's all they're doing. They're just spreading poison. Go spread that poison so on somebody else's channel.
Ooh, a nice shot, Francisco. It's <laughs> a nice shot, but does he have an? <laughs> does he have anything to shoot at? Shot just breaking up those balls in front of his pocket. Got to break them up, so you got to clear things out so they go. bank good position he's gonna be able to run some balls here now do we try to break open that little cluster right now or do you just try to play around it and try to run some balls before you try to run into that seven I think you gotta come up for that uh, that stripe that's on the spot don't go for this cluster yet Oh, he was. He was going for that. He was going for that seven. No, I think he had to go to the 11 or whatever that is on the spot. And from there you could have. And from there you can run into the seven, and that gets you right on uh, whatever that stripe is right next to the seven. I'm having a hard time seeing the colors today. So, in case you guys aren't familiar with the way Derby City runs their tournaments, this is not a traditional double elimination bracket. It's kind of like a single elimination with a option to rebuy. You get one rebuy. So the entry fee for the one pocket, I believe, was $135 was the entry fee plus $75 to, to rebuy. And the way it works is after every round, they will do another blind draw. You have to wait till the round is completely over to see who uh, who won, who lost, and who's rebuying. And then once all that's figured out, put all the names into the hat and redraw for the next round. I believe one of those balls went into Francisco's pocket, right? Good catch on the spelling there. A little dyslexia on my part. Thank you for uh, catching that. A little dyslexia in my uh, in my typing. Francisco, that looks more correct.
I think Richie only, I don't think Rich has any. I gave him credit for one, but I think he's zero because he had to spot a bunch of balls there. So I think that explains where my count was wrong. And Ryan, no Sherry here today, just me. Just bank the six back uh, to the other side of that stack, leave them hooked. Yeah, they might, one of those might bank towards Francisco's pocket. I'm not sure. Oh, well, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. It actually is a lot of work and a lot of expense on our part, but eh, we enjoy it. Uh, that's going to leave a shot for Francisco. I did have the count wrong, but all right, that first game does go to Francisco. So let's talk about the rules real quick that we're playing by here. Playing some Derby City rules, one pocket. It's pretty much standard one pocket. Ball gonna break, rack your own. First person to make eight balls in their pocket wins that game. Uh, but specific to Derby City, it is a re-rack. If you make a ball in your pocket on the break and three foul rule is in effect. All right, Richie with the break. That's a pretty nice break. Might be able to just thin off that ball in the stack, get the cue ball down near Richie's pocket behind that 10, I think that is, by his pocket.
And the Martin rule. I thought that was the Grady Matthews rule. But anyway, they tried to implement the rule where if uh, a certain number of balls were behind the head string, I think it was four, uh, then, you, then you start spotting them. Uh, that rule was in effect for all of about maybe 12 hours, but uh, I think all the players were in an uproar over it and would have, wouldn't have any of it. You know, can't have uh, can't have a rule that speeds up a tournament, even though there's 400 and something entrants in this one pocket tournament. Over 400 players in this one pocket tournament, but let's vote down any rules that might speed things up. Uh, some people. So, Seth, do you uh, do you send tweets to like the to the commentators on ESPN uh, for like the basketball commentators? Hey, I'll challenge you to some basketball one on one, or uh, to the baseball commentators. You go and challenge them one on one just because for whatever reason. Go away, dude. I don't think that quite ended up right where he wanted that cue ball. I was hoping to not let Francisco see those balls. Yeah, make one, lose one. need is I need to get some guest commentators in here, some people that actually know more about One Pocket than I do. Oh, denied. Let's get the uh, let's get the trivia going.
Oh, come on, give him a shot, give him a shot. No love. And yeah, Ra, I know what you mean. Oh, it did give him a shot. Nice shot. Francisco working hard, but finally he's back in line where he can run some balls. Can bring Richie to the table. And hello, Bill. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Guys, I don't have a whole lot to say because I'm not much of a one-pocket player. These guys are much better than I am, so I'm just enjoying watching them play. Oh, nice shot there, Richie. So he's not liking the long straight in on the deuce. Not feeling real confident with his long distance shot making. See you, Ra. Thanks for stopping by.
Well, you probably weren't saying goodbye. You're probably saying bye to Charles. You probably weren't uh, saying goodbye to me. <laughs> That's all right. Just two railing that ball out of there. Richie gonna kick behind. I don't know, do you think he would have been better served to knock those two balls out of there? Because they didn't go to Francisco's pocket before. Now they go to Francisco's pocket. Maybe he would have been better served to just knock those out of there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Bank to six out of there, stick him behind that stripe if possible. Now he's going to kick behind him again. All right, good hit. on the ball count again. I'm behind one. Somebody has one more than I've given them credit for. Who am I shortchanging? Uh, that would have been nice if he could have tied those three up. Thanks, Ra. Hey, bank the six. Isn't that the six right there by Francisco's pocket? All right. Looks like we got the we got the right right score now. Yeah, I would have thought Francisco would have rolled forward a little with the cue ball and not leave him a shot on this 11. Well, maybe that's exactly what he wanted. Maybe he fell right into his trap.
Uh, interesting that he drew that a little. I thought he might have shot that with follow and try to come back across for these balls down here. Just going to move the five over to the side. You don't like the Cyclop uh, colors, Ra? All right, so Richie just Took a break. So this is a pre-recorded match. So what you didn't see, what I just edited out, Richie just took a 16 minute break in the middle of the game. shot there. <laughs> and Richie says that's why he don't have any friends. <laughs> yeah, Dan, pre-recorded match, but live commentary. At the Derby City, we're not allowed to live stream from there, but we are allowed to record and upload later, so we could have just recorded the matches and uploaded them to YouTube like a lot of people do. We thought it'd be more fun to do, a, do it live with you guys, do some live commentary, interact with you guys, hang out, and watch the matches together. We thought that'd be more fun. And for the most part, it is, except, you know, when the occasional idiot shows up. But it's okay. I show him the door. Got all three balls moving. Nice shot. And that 6-5 is lined up to Richie's pocket for a little bonus. Oh, not anymore. was a nice effort. And 
Francisco looking to see if he just pockets the six. Is he going to leave a bank on the, on the five? And apparently he's not worried about a return bank, so five must not go. Uh, Mark, the rules. The rules of one pocket are actually delightfully simple. Uh, you make eight balls in your pocket before your opponent makes eight balls in their pocket. Anything that goes in any of the other four pockets gets spotted. The rules are easy, but the strategy takes a lifetime to master. Hey, you, down in front. So for this game, uh, the bottom right pocket on screen, that's Francisco's pocket. And the bottom left on screen, that's Richie's pocket. And the other four pockets don't count for anything. And anything that does go in those other four, they just get spotted. Mm, nice effort. Looks like Richie can cross this, uh, whatever that stripe is, below the spot. Is that the 13? Cue ball up table. Looks like that 1-3 are tied up. They don't go. So he's left a pretty low risk shot here. And that's in. Nice shot. He'd rather be shooting with his cue ball not on the rail so he could draw in behind that five. Going to move the balls over to his side. Not liking that uh, that stripe. Oh, nice. Did uh, overspun that one a little. Yeah, 
Hey, Sheila, welcome. Line, line twerking instead of line dancing. touch there. That was interesting. I thought he would have uh, banked that at his pocket, but didn't like it for whatever reason. Well, you were right. It is, uh, I believe the score is six to six. Hey, Rob, you're welcome, and thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of coverage, one pocket, banks, and nine ball. We actually we concluded our banks coverage on uh, President's Day, but plenty of one pocket coming up and nine ball. At least I think I got the score right. Hopefully all the mathematicians in the chat room can double check my uh, my math here. But I think it's six apiece. Like he's winding up to three around this in his pocket. Oh no. Is this gonna leave a shot? Oh no, no shot. Is gonna scratch? No.
I'm just kicking at your hole. Uh oh, cue ball. That's good. Francisco leads two to nothing in this race to three. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Just remember to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Uh, Adam wants to know about Rappy Langford. Uh, no. Sorry about that. Trying to move all three of these balls. Looks like he's looks like he's winding up. Yeah, he was. Uh, that's gonna leave a mark. Quite possibly uh, on the scoreboard. A lot of these balls, like you know, especially those balls around the spot there, looks like they're all. It's like they're lined up in like a like a drill. <laughs> it's like you start with the cue ball on the spot and run all the balls to your pocket. Yeah, Adam, if we had any, we'd we'd put them up for sure. We just yeah, you know, we do not have any matches with Robbie Langford. This could be trouble. for Richie. Yeah, 
as uh, as someone in the chat room said, yeah, I think the the fat lady she's she's warming up her vocal cords. She's backstage warming up. All right, this is five for the match, and Richie says, don't bother shooting. He's shaking his hand. All right, so Francisco Bustamante defeating Richie Richardson in this round two action. Both players had zero losses at the start of this, so Richie's still alive if he wants to rebuy. All right, we're going to have plenty more uh, one-pocket coverage coming up, so stick around, and thanks for watching. <laughs>